Hey, this is Daniel from Matarama. I'm here at my studio in New York City, and we're setting up some interview lighting here with Erica. So, I'm in a daylight studio, and there's always nice, beautiful light coming through my office here. And we could probably have just set our camera on a little bit of a higher ISO and shot an interview, and it might have been fine. But it's a cloudy day, it, the sun's coming in and out, and what you don't want in the middle of a, an interview or any kind of a, a video take is for the light to change in the middle of it. Right? It, it's going to be hard for you to cut it together, it's going to look strange. So what I opted to do instead was create a lighting setup that's similar in look to what it looks like here with the daylight, but won't change on me. So I immediately closed the shades on these windows here, and actually in front of me where the camera's shooting through is a door that has some daylight coming through. So I need to replicate those two sources. So here I have a Westcott uh, one foot by two foot flex mat light, which is basically a LED light. It's really, really thin, um, but this kit comes with kind of a scrimgem style frame and a fabric, so you kind of turn it into a, a soft box. It's dual color, although we're working with daylight primarily today. We, we you know, warmed it up a little bit to get a certain look, um, but we're mostly daylight. And essentially, this is kind of like a good way to have an LED source that's not so hard on the person's eyes because you got some nice diffusion uh, in front of it. So I've got this here set up as our key light, and even though the windows are here, that created kind of a, a too flat of a light, so we came to one side to give a little bit of shape to our subject's face. And the other light that I'm using is a one foot square uh, flex from Westcott. Again, it's got the scrim gym style frame with the fabric in front and a very, very thin LED panel. And basically we're using that to replicate the light as if the light was coming through the door. Light coming through the door was creating nice uh, highlight shape to this side of her face. And again, now we're in control of that. I do have the door open because this light is brighter than the light coming from the actual door. So it's not really affecting our shot. If the door was brighter than the LED panel, we'd have to close the door when we were shooting. Once I had this all set up, it looked pretty good, but the one final thing that we needed to add was in the corner, it was a little bit dark over here where we have these books on a table. Um, when the daylight's in here, it kind of bounces all around. It's a much bigger source, so uh, it kind of fills the room up with light. So it looked odd that the corner was dark. So we actually just took uh, the ice light and just kind of clamped it to the stand over there, just to throw a little bit of light in the background. It's just giving a little bit of light in those books to make it feel more realistic to the available light in the room. So these flex mat LED, uh, LEDs from Westcott are very cool. Um, I just want to show you. So again, we have a kit that's built on a scrim gym frame, but the actual LED itself is this really flat uh, panel, right, with a cord coming off. You could Velcro or tape this to a wall in a really tight spot, put it down you know, on the ground somewhere. It's actually a really, really cool uh, light source in and of itself. But I really like these kits that they've made that have the scrim gym components. There's kits that come with one by one or one by two and even up to, I believe, two by two. So you can get all different sizes of these flex mat kits and they break down really small. Pretty versatile, actually. So when you walk into a space, even if it has beautiful available light, if you're shooting video type stuff, think about the fact that you may have to cut this together. You may want to actually block that beautiful light. It, it feels, feels counterproductive a little bit, but if you're in control of your light, that's going to make your day go a lot better. So sometimes it's worthwhile to close the windows, create your own light that replicates that style, and then you'll get a much more consistent video. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time on set.